What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by, friends and fellow artists, for another full length painting, oil painting talk through video. So let's get over to the canvas and we'll go ahead and get started. The colors I'm going to be using today is going to be cad yellow, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, titanium white, a Prussian blue, sap green, Van Dyke brown, a lizard crimson, and just a regular black. I use um, Midnight Black sometimes, and I think on this one I'm using Ivory Black, but any black will work good. Take the one inch brush, get just a little bit of Prussian Blue on there. Not much, just a little bit of Prussian Blue. And we're going to come up here, and we're going to just dust in a little bit of this color. kind of light right now. I'm going to add some other colors to this. One thing you really need to worry about is keeping the darker colors towards the top, letting them get light as they come down to the horizon. And the easiest way to pull that off is just by running out of paint on your brush and once you have just a little bit of paint left Start working down the canvas. And the liquid white will make the color lighter and lighter and lighter. Now we're going to add a touch, a touch of black into that Prussian blue color and a very small bit of titanium white. And then come up towards the corners, start at the corners, darken them up really good. And we'll just work a little bit of this color in towards the top of the painting and down. And go ahead and start throwing in a couple of uh, cloud shapes if you want. I have a couple of clouds in this painting, so. We're just going to go ahead and start putting in a cloud shape here and there. Grab you a clean draw two inch brush and we're just going to come up here and just blend this color together. Don't kill all the white, just blend it down a little and all that excess blue that we were talking about. And then we'll go right back over, remove the brush strokes side to side and leave it alone. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh look at this. Titanium White's making a run for it. He's trying to get off the palette. We do not need that happening. Get back on there. You little criminal. Now we'll take a little bit of that sky color, put some titanium white with it, but just here and there so we can pick out these clouds a little bit better. Maybe the light is hitting, striking a couple of these right on the tops. I'm not going to use too much highlight. Take your brush and even lighter, lift up. then back across one or two times, barely touching the canvas. Just like that. That's all it is to it. Alright, next I think we're going to grab some Prussian Blue, some Titanium White, mix it up on the palette, add a little Liz and Crimson in there, Pull your paint out nice and flat, cut across, get your roll of paint on the knife, and then we're going to come up here and we're just going to decide where this mountain lives. Maybe this mountain. Maybe this one's going to have a couple little peaks and clumps on it. 
try and pull off as much excess paint as you can uh, in, the, in the process. And I think it's going to come on up here in front of these nice clouds we just created. That's about good. Right there with the peak. This is a tall mountain. It comes down. And now we're going to go in with the two inch brush. And all we're going to do is grab the grab the top of this mountain and we're just going to pull it down. Grab it, pull it down. This is where you construct the angles of your mountain and where it really starts taking shape for you. Now, it's up to you which direction it goes. Just make sure that this top part doesn't get destroyed. Keep the top part. Just pull the rest down. Now grab yourself a little Van Dyke Brown, maybe a touch of that blue, grab you some titanium white, except kind of a light brown color. And we're going to add in a couple little highlights on this mountain, just by rubbing with the knife. This mountain's still kind of far away, so we don't want it to be ultra vibrant, but we do want a little bit of something going on here. Make sure you stay going the angles of your mountain. Just rub you in a couple of little rocky areas. Now, we're going to add a little bit more white to that mixture. Cut across and we're going to add just the slightest bit of snow on this mountain as well. Just a tiny touch here and there of snow. Just barely rubbing with the knife. Staying towards the top of this mountain. Next, with the knife, we're going to grab some black and some brown, a little bit of blue. Mix yourself up a really nice dark color. Pull your color out nice and flat, cut across, roll the paint, <clears throat> and we're going to come right up here and we're going to decide where we want the mountain that we were talking about. Maybe, maybe it comes down like this. Maybe he's a really steep one. Maybe it comes on down like this and then there's a drop off. So kind of all the way up. Nice and jagged, nice and mountainy. <laughs> Grab that excess color, just scrape it off. While we got that dark color on the brush, go ahead and come down right here at this tree line just tap some of that color in. Just tap it in. Next we'll grab some titanium white, <clears throat> some Van Dyke brown, nice light brown color, a little more white. And 
with that color we can come into this mountain and we can decide where we want the light to be striking this one maybe just scrub in a little bit of color here just wherever you want the light sides to be just go scrub in a little color now this is a very uh, uh, peaky peaky mountain a lot of the straight up and down angles on this one Next we'll go on to just some titanium white and maybe there's some light just bouncing right off of this. So you just pick out a couple little spots. You might want some, some light hitting, just barely touching the canvas. And just put in a couple little spots where maybe the sunlight is just reflecting off of this rock here. You know, maybe maybe we have some water some water down here so what we're going to do is going to grab our two inch brush um, and we got to mix up our sky color again come right down maybe we want our water right here we're just going to grab on the sides and pull across And just like that, we can add in some water. Come over to this side. Grab it to pull it across. Grab the clean, dry two inch brush and just come right down here. Blend straight across side to side on this water. Leave a little bit of uh, the, this white shining through. It gives you kind of a nice effect of uh, some sun or something reflecting here on the water here. Now grab this color here and just pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Straight down. then lightly go across across and across create you some reflections here and for this mountain I kind of want uh, this side of the water to be a little darker so just add you some color in pull it straight down and then lightly across. Now I'm going to go into some sap green and yellow. And I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to push. Tap some some grassy colors right down here in front of the mountain in front of these trees now the more you tap the more it will uh, diffuse the color and it'll look softer and softer and then you can go right back over with a uh, lighter yellow and green and make it look like a meadow. Very simple, very easy way to create grass. Now let's go into some Van Dyke Brown and Black. I think I think we'll have a tree. We'll have a tree that comes right here. And he'll come on down. Right there. That's where he starts.
That's where he lives. Now, we'll make his foot. Now you decide how thick or thin you want your tree. Just try and keep him a bit thinner at the top, thicker at the bottom. That way you can go in and add arms and stuff on them. Yeah, we're going to go into a little bit of a lizard and crimson. Sap green and yellow. And we're going to use the very corner of this brush and just very easily add some highlights to these two trees we just created. Just a couple highlights here and there. Very tip tops of these branches. Then if you really want to shine some light on this tree, grab a little bit of that white like we did on the mountain. Just on the very edge. Add just some titanium white on there. And pull. It also gives you a lot of texture. So when it dries, your trees will actually feel like they have bark. Which I think is very cool. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this painting. I uh, hope you guys had a lot of fun following along painting with me. Um, it's always a blast for me to do these kind of videos for you guys. I really enjoy painting and uh, I look forward to making more of these videos. I, uh, Like I said, I really enjoy doing this. I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. As always, happy drawing. Beast mode out.